Hello, friends. Um, yes, at the interwebs. Thanks for joining me here today. This is actually not the right screen. This is supposed to be the right screen. So I've got a cool little uh, little device here called the, um, oh, it's, it's not going to let me show you. It's called the uh, Stream Deck, which is kind of cool because you can just sort of do, it, it falls apart easy, but you can select the different items. So anyway, not time to do that yet. So uh, anyway, hey, Kurt, how are you? And Ben, hey, folks, good to have you join. There's Kurt, our good friend and um, expert. So I'll oh, see Kurt has this too. It's cool, huh? You like it, Kurt? It's a pretty cool thing. Oh, Michael Jensen's back from the little bit. Hey, folks, thanks. It's a, the sun setting. I don't have a lot of time. It's my mother-in-law's birthday and we are having lunch up there in 20 minutes. So yeah, I gotta make this thing sort of quick, but uh, had a power outage, had some fun things going on today. So I wanted to jump on real quick. The title of this is it can always get worse. And it can, and that's what life does. It can get, uh, we're in Apple bashing tonight. No, I love Apple. Why would I bash Apple, Kurt? I love Apple, Apple's great. Apple's fantastic. I just wish that they'd let us play better with our friends who aren't Apple people. That's all. I just, you know, I just want to play more with the folks that I care about with their um, hideous Samsung devices. But anyway, Co, we are going to, you know what? I'm going to do the intro. We're back. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, really quickly, I just, there was a, um, a comment that was made over the weekend that was super important to me. And essentially it was along the lines of where we can find joy and where joy comes from. And the quote was essentially that it doesn't, that joy does not come from the things that we accomplish and the things that we get. It comes from what we're focused on. In our life what's the focus of our lives and so that's what I kind of wanted to jump on today because as our little friend here at the little black couch can show me there's a lot to worry about in life and this is the worried emoji um, which I guess I mean sure he looks worried um, I guess yeah I'm sort of worried but Anyway, we can always be worried about things to get worse. And sometimes I've been talking to a couple um, folks lately who, who, for whatever reason, think about what could go wrong. That takes up like a, a big part of what their day, what they think about when they have time to think is what can go wrong. And I've never really quite understood that um, until recently. And somebody was talking to me, I said, why in the world are you so worried about what can go wrong? I mean, what's, how in the world is that? I mean, all these things that you've talked about, all 10 of them can't go wrong. Maybe one of them will, but not all 10 of them. So why are you worrying about all 10? Why not just not worry about them? And they're just like, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I had a really good discussion. I'm like, what in the world is causing you to worry about this? And this is a young kid. Uh, a very smart kid who's working really hard in his life right now in school going like crazy. I mean, doing way too much, which is basically what I said. You've got to dump some stuff, right? Because this is just too much for somebody your age to be worrying about. This is, it's ridiculous to be this worried at this young age, right? Let's get through some stuff. The worry can come later and it will, um, especially after you get kids. But um, that's right. Akuna Matata. There it is. I like it. Boom. Thanks, Kurt. It is. And I'll tell you, the, the thing that I've learned, the thing that, we've, that we, we finally got to, which was so fascinating, that he was so worried about what could go wrong in his life is because he thought that joy and happiness came from the circumstances of his life. So if bad things happened to him, he wouldn't be happy anymore. 
And so we got to have a really good discussion on that's not how this, that's not how this thing works. You can have the, the absolute worst stuff going on in your life and be completely happy and thrilled with it. It's not comfortable, but you can still find joy and happiness in your life. You just have to make sure that what you're focused on, okay, whatever you're focused on is important. Okay, so it can be your family, it can be making sure that your wife's happy, that your kids are doing okay, that they're safe, that um, you're working on something that's important to you, even though it's not maybe generating any money right now, the money will come. And so it's just about, it's a mindset change of making so sure, and I tried to help this, um, I hope, I hope this, this, this kid, and, and I can't, it's early 20s, early 20s, I hope that he sees that it's not, I've been through this long enough to know that it's not the circumstances, and it's not the money, and it's not the cars you drive, and it's not the clothes you wear, as you can tell. It's not, it's none of that stuff. It's what you're focused on. It's what you're actually engaged in that brings you the joy, that brings you the happiness, that brings you the peace and the comfort and the, and the calm. Um, the money and all that other stuff will figure itself out as long as you're engaged in doing and taking action. Uh, action solves a lot of these problems. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. Oh, and I just got the message from my daughter that they are headed up there. And um, you know, this uh, birthdays are a big deal in my wife's family, huge deal. It's like, they call it like their day or something. Like you're all, you know, everybody's supposed to get whatever, you know, you need on your day. And uh, I'm not quite that, I'll ignore my birthday completely and not even talk to anybody about it. So, but, uh, but anyway, um, let me wrap this up and get going. Looks like somebody's come in to, uh, to say hello. So we'll say hello to them and run up to my mother-in-law's birthday party. And then my mom's brought her sister in town. So we're gonna go take and say hello to Aunt Diane from Michigan. I haven't seen her in, boy, five, 10 years, something like that. So. Just find joy in your life and make sure that um, don't get fearful about what's next. In entrepreneurship, it's crazy. There's a lot of ups and downs and things that go on. But if you're focused on something that's important and you stay focused on that, it really doesn't matter the, cir the circumstances that you're in. You can find joy and peace. I promise you. Till next time, Aaron Stewart from The Little Black Couch. See ya.